Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing Jungle Greggers, because barrels in the jungle are so good. So anyway, we are going to go into this uh, with the spectator mode on, so that is awesome. And we're going to follow the fat guy. That would be a good title. Follow the fat guy. Anyway... <laughs> I'm coming up with all kinds of crazy titles, as you might have noticed. I'm just feeling like, yeah, I should do something creative with that. I mean, I have the uh, the the time to think about these titles while the video <laughs> kind of compiles. So, yeah. Anyway, I've never seen Jungle Gragas. It should be awesome. No, he is going to have awesome ganks with his ultimate. And with his uh, uh, body slam, that is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Now he's going to get uh, a lot of kills, I think. Well, he has the potential to get a lot of kills. So I don't know if he starts off with blue or with um, the wolves. He should start off with the wolves, of course, because with his AoE damage, he should have no problem with that. And I am assuming also that he will start off with the barrel roll. Um, not picking a skill yet because he knows that if someone is is running in right now, that he needs his body slam to get away. So that's why he's not picking a skill yet. That is a very, very good choice. So um, these are the enemies. Uh, amplifying Tome plus Health Potion. Can you afford that normally? Yeah, you can. Okay. So, that's an uh, aggressive opening. So they, uh, I thought you only could afford an amplifying tome and then didn't have m uh, money left for the, uh, the health potion. But apparently it's all good. And Greg is going to pick up an easy blue buff here. There we go. Starting off with the body slam, in fact, so not the AoE damage like I thought. And going for, yeah, this was an obvious choice, I didn't even think of that. Drunken Rage, it reduces the damage that he takes from the minions, and it increases his damage, so, yeah, what else can you want, man? <laughs> uh, and it's, it lasts for so long, and it gives you mana, and... It's it's everything you want. So anyway, someone died and it seems that it was in the bottom lane. So let's see. So Vayne going after the Ash here, but Ash had a heal and yeah the aggressive opening of this uh Katarina definitely paying off there. And she is going to grab the first blood. So Vayne still has her heal up and her, uh, her, sh her flash, so it's her own fault that she died there. There is nothing else you can say about that. It's just, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. She could have easily lived there. So Ash, yeah, she used her heal and she stayed alive, so she played that better. She also still has her heal, uh, her flash up. So, getting the, the red buff here, and we don't see the red buff on here. Is that new, or is that just a mistake? Hang on. Um, that's F for full vision. No, that's actually the way it is now. Okay, cool. Didn't, they, didn't notice that earlier, but that's all good. So apparently, yeah, they redesigned the whole jungle, we knew that, of course, but uh, yeah, apparently they also changed it in such a way that the buffs no longer show on the minions, which looks a lot better in my opinion, and wow, why did this, I don't understand this, he's giving away a free kill, and now, well, because this uh, this Darius had another target, he ran all over the place, and oh, not able to land that kill. That is unfortunate. 
But yeah, Gregus would have been fine. He would have been able to run out. But now he needed to get that kill to kind of take the revenge. And unfortunately the jungler reacting very properly on the enemy team. So, yeah. Oh no, don't take out the second one. Come on. <sighs> so fail. Now Dragus is not even going to notice that they took that. Well, whatever. Could have taken the big uh, raid and the uh, big golem. And gotten out. But now Gregus is just going to take out this camp. And when he's going to run top, he uh, in fact will uh, get the golems no problem. So yeah, the jungler on the enemy team just doing a good job of protecting the top lane there. And um, Wukong completely failing in his attempt to steal the kill from uh, Gregus. Or take the kill, I don't know how to describe this. So he's going into this jungle. But yeah, this was never going to be up, so I was assuming he would run in further. He saw the blue buff on, uh, on Trindamir, so I don't understand. But Well, maybe he didn't see it, but then still... The blue buff spawns at 155. Yeah, I learned that from the comments on the last video I did on a jungler. Um, so it spawns at 155. You're going to kill it at about 210. So it will be up 5 minutes later, 5 minutes after you killed it. So that's at 710. So not at 5 minutes something. When he checked. Unless, of course, the jungler doesn't take the blue buff, but I've never seen a jungler not take the blue buff. I've seen junglers not take the red buff, because the red buff is quite strong, but yeah, the blue buff is really uh, a weak-ass minion, man. For the amount of gold he gives, and, well, the buff he gives. So, are they going to be able to do anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously they were going to grab that kill, but I was afraid that someone might die because of it. But it was all good. Darius not getting his damage done. Nice work for Morgana. Actually a really hard binding to land there. And she is going to pick up the raids here. Which is of course a big bonus for her. And she is up against Gellio, who can do exactly the same thing on his side. And uh, let's see, oh, it's already up. Let's see how they're doing. 34 for Gellio against 35 for Morgana, so they're exactly equal. And, uh, yeah, even though the the Gellio went aggressive early on, it is still 0 to 0. Morgana, of course, getting that, uh, that assist there, she deserved that kill. That was an excellent binding. And that was very hard to uh, to land. So Gregus should be coming in here. Come on, body slam. No, not landing that. But two flashes drawn out. That is excellent. That is what... Yeah, that's that's definitely worth it. And yeah, with no ward out, they're not going to spot this guy coming in. Neither team has a ward out, by the way. And yeah... He has his ultimate, so he can tower dive all he wants. The ultimate lasts for 6 seconds, 5 seconds. And he should be able to... Uh, oh, come on Morgana. Yeah, finally. I, I'm always worried when people start auto-attacking, because it is quite likely that the jungler will take it then, because the jungler has, uh, or most of the times, has the jungle... Uh, masteries on, which means that he um, he does six damage or nine. No, it's yeah, it's six damage to the uh, to the minions every time they hit him. And yeah, that six damage takes the the buff more often than uh, you would think. So once again, the Wukong getting sniped there and. Morgana is not going to rock, walk into the right bush. You always walk in the one they need to escape and then run back to your turret so that they can't get away. The only way for them to escape then is uh, through the river. But 
that is not going to happen most of the times. So anyhow, yeah, Greg is here in mid lane picking up some minions because uh, Morgana was in top lane trying to snipe that uh, that Darius. But yeah, Galio just going to wipe out the minion wave behind it, and um, yeah, not a whole lot you can do about that. Galio is just really strong that way. Galio is really strong in many ways. So it seems that um, they are in some trouble here. The ultimate going down, so now he will die, yeah. And finally he does die. Trindimir has a Riggle's Lantern now. Making it even easier for him on against uh, well all of this melee. No, uh, all of this physical damage. Uh, Gregus, of course, doesn't do physical damage, although he might. It depends on his build. And he needs some physical damage to deal with this. Hang on, I want to see this, because this would be an interesting kill. <laughs> oh, Ash getting completely zoned out of everything, and a very nice kill, or double kill rather, by, uh, by Vayne. Yep, nicely done. So the red buff on Gragas now. And no, there's nobody there. You can see that. Come on, just turn on your spectator mode and you can see that there's nobody there. So yeah, Morgana once again coming in here to help out. And uh, Wukong is not really playing his strongest match ever. 1 and 3, 25 minions. Versus uh, 3 and 2 with 58 minions. So definitely not his best uh, matchup there. Of course you need something ranged to deal with Darius. Because if you have some ranged skills. Uh, something to harass him. So that he's, uh, he's not able to do his damage. Because he needs to move in quite close to do his damage. And... Yeah, if he's not able to do that, then <laughs> they're going to switch lanes as well. That is cute. And monkey, 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 don't go in. Oh, he's going to be so dead. Yep, there he goes. So oh, almost getting killed, but the movement speed, no, it doesn't even save him. The range on the ultimate is good enough to land the kill. Told him to not go in on that, but do they ever listen? No, they don't. Never. And there we go. The Morgana uh, Gregus combo, too strong. And this is exactly what I meant by strong ganks. That, that ultimate can, uh, can disrupt an enemy so much that they are completely in the wrong position all, uh, all of a sudden. And... Um, yeah, that lands him the kill. Oh, once again, a kill in bottom lane. We obviously didn't see that, and I'm not going back for that because, yeah, the kill on Katarina, not that impressive. I mean, Vayne has the. Oh, come on, why can I never remember this name? Condemn. She has the Condemn, so once Katarina ultimates, she just hits the Condemn and. Uh, should get an easy kill out of that. Because Condemn already does quite a bit of damage. And then if you can uh, can land some basic attacks afterwards. Three champions coming in for, for this Galio. Anyway, if you hit some, uh, some attacks afterwards, it should be pretty easy. And Wukong getting the hell out of there. Gregus, come on, do the damage, man. Yeah, it's going to be really dangerous to stay in here, and Wukong is staying in here. But he grabs the kill, and uh, it seems that he might actually get out. Yep, he is going to get out of the range of Darius, at least. And no, they're still following him. And he should just suicide here. No, Ash coming in. 
Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, well played by Ash. I don't know if she did that on purpose, of course. But, yeah, his suicide, yeah, he could have suicided into this turret as well. Would have been an equal trait. Uh, well, it would have been kind of... Yeah, obviously, the choice should have been the mid turret, but that's because Ash wasn't in the lane. I would have chosen this turret as well. Because the chance that someone is at the middle turret is bigger, or, well, the, the chances of you successfully suiciding here, let's put it like that, are a lot smaller than on the bottom turret, because you have to wait for 10 seconds, that's one, and you reach the middle turret a lot quicker than the side turret, so you might not have uh, the 10 seconds, plus most people will run in the mid lane once the mid game starts, which is about now, and, um, yeah, of course, with Ash out of the lane, it was, well, in hindsight, it was kind of obvious that um, that she was going to run into bottom lane, so she was going to be there. But as I said, I would have chosen the same turret, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate in that way. So anyhow, uh, Dragus is just continuing on to jungle, and that is of course an awesome thing because he needs the he he needs the gold to do some damage, but also he has two gold items for that, and uh, yeah, he is quite high on minions because he uh, he helped out in top lane, and obviously we see Darius in the jungle here waiting for a kill but that's not going to happen so blue buff on uh, for Morgana here and hopefully Morgana will come in to grab that pretty soon and yes he can yeah no she has to push this way first yeah so Gregus takes it. She should have come in way earlier. And now she comes in when the wave is already gone. Oh, when the wave's already pushing her turret. And yeah, so she misses the wave and the blue buff here. But yeah, can't keep it there forever. So they can still go for the enemy blue buff here. Because the enemy blue buff is still up. But they don't know that. And yeah... Galio is now going to get that. Obviously, two blue buffs should spawn at similar times, but because the uh, blue buff on the blue team was actually taken a lot later in at the first, well, the first time, it is going to be uh, up later the third time as well. And an excellent kill there. So, <laughs> Galio for some reason suiciding here. I don't really understand why. He was never going to grab that. He missed his ultimate, but instead of cancelling it, he just decided to just let it time out and do a little bit of damage and get killed in the meantime. So I'll show you the gold amounts. There you go. You can figure out for yourself who's fat and who's not so fat. So currently we are up to kills but we are down 1.5k gold so yeah not really the best of situations because they think they're ahead now and yeah blitzcrank grabbing that kill so i wonder did the enemies yeah the enemies must have taken dragon didn't really see that I wasn't paying attention to that and to be honest I don't really care that I didn't see that because well you can see it if you want to and it is hardly of any well concern when I'm playing uh, when I'm uh, casting this game I can see how much gold they have so I'm assuming that something happened and if it didn't then that's fine too fact is that the enemy team is ahead in golds and now 
almost ahead in kills. Oh no, no, Vayne is going to change that. But <laughs> oh wow, so much damage going off on that Vayne. So, what's the happening here? Yeah, Morgana trying to get into this bottom lane, trying to uh, to get one of those kills. Because Katrina is still low and uh, Darius was relatively low. Plus he used all of his skills. And yeah, she misses the bind there. But she is going to land a stun here on two guys. Nicely done. And that's exactly what we like to see. So Wukong picking up one of the kills. He's 3 and 6 now. And yeah, as they've very well known, no the dragon isn't up. This dragon may come up pretty soon. I don't know. What do you think, Dragons? Is the dragon going to be up soon? Or are you just going to farm the rest of your jungle? No, he thinks it's up soon as well. So he's going to push the mid lane here. Oh, hang on, we want to see that, of course. Of course. No stun coming out from Vayne, and that's going to cost her dearly. Yep, it's, is it going to be a triple kill? I think so. It might very well be. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Yeah, they destroyed the mid turret, but they, are they going to pick up this last kill? Yeah, he had Ghost on, so that's why he's uh, so far ahead. Yeah, if he turned around there, he would have lost the Trindamir. But Trindamir is not going to care about this little bit of tower damage. He does have his ultimate. The only one... Oh, that was so close. The only one able to finish this off would be this guy. And yeah, there comes the protection. Nicely done by Trindamir. And yeah, the Wukong should have realized that when he used his uh, his clone over here, he should have ran back. He should have go used the uh, the invisibility to run back, and that might have thrown uh, uh, might have gotten him uh, out of that. But yeah, well, you never know. This definitely didn't work. This was never going to work. So they do pick up a dragon, even though they lost uh, the Wukong there. But oh, they picked up the Darius. When did they pick up the Darius? I don't know. Hang on, what did I miss? I missed a good fight somewhere. One back. Even more back? Okay. I missed this, which apparently happens. Wow, finally, yeah, the stun coming out from Vayne. And yeah, you can see the stun makes all the difference, especially against someone like Darius who needs to do a certain amount of damage before um, being able to, to land a kill. Because he needs to land all of his skills first and then get the five hemorrhage stacks and then use his ultimate. And if he can't get his uh, his skills off, then yeah, you're going to land an easier kill. So yeah, that explains why the Darius is dead. And I'm sorry I missed that. Oh, that was uh, not good. <laughs> Running into two enemies there. Yeah, Vayne over here should land the stun pretty easily. No, does not land the stun. And uh, switches targets even. What? What? Anyway, she has Phantom Dancer now. So the Blood Surcer on Darius. Um, yeah, he has a lot of life still, by the way. Doesn't have a whole lot of damage, but. Yeah, still has 250 damage apparently. 
and this Wukong has 125. <laughs> Man, he's building Trinity Force with no damage, so that is excellent. <laughs> There's a lot of fighting going on. Greg is in the meantime uh, in the top lane, pushing that turret and getting the kill on that. But the enemy team just getting a turret back for that. He's going to grab the blue buff here. And with that blue buff he can actually do a whole lot. Well, the enemy team is probably going to grab their blue buff here. Because after they kill this turret... There's really not a whole lot left to do for them. So they're not going to push into this, uh, this base. They're going to pick up these minions and then go into blue buff, I'm assuming. Yep, Katrina already going for it. And yes, that is indeed what they're going to do. No, they're not picking it up, really? Why? Blue buff is super powerful. And you really want to take that. Hmm, okay. Okay. This is uh, a very crappy ward spot, by the way. You get virtually no vision from it. You either ward here or you ward here, you don't ward here. Unless you need to get away with uh, someone who jumps towards, such as Lee Sin or Jax. And then it is fine to place it there to get away, but that you can ju then jump over this wall to the wards. But as a ward spot, it is not very good. So they're going to pick up the Darius here. At least I'm assuming he won't be able to do the triple damage, uh, the triple kill here. No, he won't be able to do that indeed. And yeah, you saw the the Wukong use his uh, his stealth immediately to try to do damage with his uh, with his clone or something like that instead of just going full on in there. I don't understand that kind of play. Once again, in this place, really. So the whole team's here, but there is no enemy here, so... The only enemy that's even near here is this guy. And that is going to take a crap ton of damage to take him down. So dodging the ultimate there from Dragus, but the result is still the same. He's still going to die, and uh, as I said, it's going to take a crap ton of damage, but... There's nobody else here. The entire enemy team is gone. So <laughs> nobody there to protect the Galio. Galio should have, sh of course, have known that. But yeah, he was the only one there, so you might as well pick him off. And he was doing uh, pretty well in the minions. 171. Nobody even close to that. So it was time f for him to get slowed down a little bit. And yeah, she does capture him, but yeah, the Darius is just going to finish that off with his ultimate. And he's going to get a double kill here. And is he? Uh, he might actually get a triple kill out of this. No, 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 no getting killed before he could land the triple and the quadra. Maybe he didn't even have the mana for that, I didn't watch that. The two guys getting off out at a very, very low amount of HP. And Wow, Vayne is going to kill two of them. And the third one, yeah, that would be a little bit too risky. So, wisely backing off here. Finally, someone who doesn't go in at very low health. Doesn't she have any life steal? Yeah, she does. She, she well, she has six percent life steal, so it's not really the amount you would like to have, of course. Um, yeah, nine percent total, three percent from her uh, masteries, and six percent from the two Doran's blades. So yeah, the, uh, the the Baron is indeed up. So can they go for it? Is the question probably not? Well, not at this point, or as this, at this moment. 
because they are behind in golds. Uh, not only that, they are, well, not stronger than the enemy team. If they kill this guy, however, then they should be able to. Yeah, now they should be able to, to get that. And after this kill, I'm pretty sure they will go Baron. And there we go. Getting the kill. Go Baron. No? Okay. Then don't go Baron. He's going to ward it up. Though the enemy already has a ward on it. So they are going to spot the uh, red team going for that. But the only way to, to really steal it would be for Trindamir to run in and get the kill on it during his ultimate. Wow, a nice flash. Is it going to save him? Yes, it is. Oh, that was a very nice flash. And is Vayne going to get out? Yes, she is. But, yeah. The Wukong, of course, gets killed again. <laughs> He's been having a very bad game. 3 and 11. Well, we all have bad games, so... I guess he just wasn't prepared to go up against uh, this Darius. Didn't really know how to handle him. And he is, of course, very hard to handle with a melee champion. Because as, as a melee champion, he is going to do more damage than you are. Mainly because of his uh, innate ability here. It uh, gives him the well extra magic damage and it stacks. So that's kind of crazy. It's kind of like Twitch on steroids. Because I don't know if Twitch does uh, this much damage. Th that's now, uh, what's that? 80 damage. 80 damage per stack and Twitch does 2 damage per second for 6 seconds so that's 12 damage per sec. That is a huge difference. So I don't know why they did it, why they made it so incredibly big but yeah maybe they were afraid he wasn't overpowered enough and that people wouldn't buy him. But this is a crazy amount. I mean the uh, Timo gets uh, damage like this but at least he doesn't have the stack amount, so he can't stack five times. Oh, nice ultimate by Gragas, and they're going to land the kill on Darius because he took so much Baron damage and he was displaced so brilliantly. And wow, they're going to grab the Baron now. And yeah, with Katarina and Ash here, they're going to have no problems. They're not going to come in, even though. They can't see them doing it. <laughs> Katarina's not going to jump in there. So Darius gets a frozen mallet. Making him able to stick to his target a little bit better. Of course you could also just buy ghost for that. But or buy. I just get ghost. Because Ghost lets you stick to your target for 10 seconds and that is an incredibly long time. If you can't get a kill in 10 seconds, then you probably shouldn't have engaged in the first time. In the f yeah, yeah, that was correct. In the first place, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Anyway, a huge team fight going on. And they forgot that, uh, oh, he is still dead. Okay, they forgot that that guy had no ultimate. But he was still dead, probably due to an ignite. Don't know if she has an ignite. Yes, she does. That explains that. And blue team is finally, well, getting defeated a little bit. But yeah, it is still a two for two trait. But it is such a strong team. Also, uh, Morgana is kind of strong. So Vayne is obviously very strong in the late game. Which is where we are arriving right about now. And building some really tanky stuff here. Excellent. That may, means that he can engage without fearing uh, for his life. And he should be able to do pretty well with that. So, um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer on Vayne. She's pretty much done. She needs to get the Guardian Angel next to make her full god mode so that she can't die anymore and um, 
she can kill the entire enemy team. So blue buff is going to Morgana once again. And Greg is going to run out and leave the blue buff to Morgana. So yeah, blue team farming it up, getting the red buff as well. So the entire jungle is empty on both sides after this kill. There we go, entire jungle empty. And yeah, everyone now just gather up in mid and go push. Of course they still want to, uh, to get those minions in the side lanes and that's why we only have three mid. And especially this guy could use the money pretty well. He has 109 minions, four kills. He is really behind on the rest of his team and on the enemy team. Oh, Blitzcrank! So yeah, a little bit of harass going off. Just uh, random shots being taken at the enemy team. Yeah, this guy is at 8.6 and uh, Blitzcrank is at the same amount. Blitzcrank who has been playing support. So that is not good when that happens. A nice, very nice ultimate in fact by... Uh, uh, by the, 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 the... come on... Galio. And that is going to make them are uh, able to take this whole team fight. Blitzcrank helping out but it's not going to be good enough. They did pick up one kill and three guys remaining. So only Blitzcrank still alive on this team. And he is going to have to heal up because he was really low health. So anyhow, they're going to lose an inhibitor for this and maybe one of the Nexus turrets, depending on... Now the next minion wave is not coming in quickly enough. And <laughs> picking up the, the worst champion to pick up. Although he doesn't have his ultimate currently, but still he is going to be really powerful. <laughs> And yeah, as I said, the minion wave wasn't coming in soon enough, so they couldn't really push in on these these Nexus turrets. Because they might have lost some otherwise. And yeah, they can see this guy doing the dragon, but they're not going to be there in time to pick it up. And it's going to be close, but... Oh, come on, stun. You start off with the stun vein. Okay. No ultimate. <laughs> I was wondering about that, but yeah, he did have his ultimate up. So maybe it was just like one second off. Can't really see that over here. But he should have had it up. So don't really understand why he died there. Um, yeah, the blue buff for Galio once again and. It seems that they want to go in on this blue buff situation. And they're going to grab this kill, even though he does have a guardian angel up. Oh, come on. No, not going to be able to do that. Oh, the ultimate not displacing him out of turret range. And they are going to be able to pick him up after he revives. Come on. You can do this. No, the entire blue team coming up. Uh, for some reason, using his ultimate there, I don't understand that at all. Because there was no one even near him. <laughs> oh my god, Vayne doing a lot of damage, but then, yeah, Darius comes in. But yeah, I'm not afraid of Darius, says Gragas. Gragas does need someone to do the damage for him, because he's not really able to do the damage himself and this guy is going to die now. Yeah, Gregas was going to die as well if he stayed in. Because, well, Trindamir has an insane amount of damage and doesn't really have that much lifesteal, but still enough to keep him alive. He has 24% uh, lifesteal in fact. Where did that come from? Huh. He has this 12%, uh, 10% and this 12%, I believe. Ah, yeah, well. That makes up for 22. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of logical. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I just thought, well, he has this uh, this Vampiric Scepter, and then, yeah, I didn't notice the Riggle's Lantern, but the Riggle's Lantern, of course, a very big amount of life still on that. And yeah, life still is just insane in the late game. So, Gregus, yeah, he uh, <laughs> has been doing a good job of jungling, but now, because he uh, he has all tank items, oh, sorry, because he has all tank items, um, it is difficult for him to do the damage that he normally can do. And he's now just scouting around for some wards. There are no wards on the map, so... At least I'm assuming... Yeah, that's the first ward, I think. Doing a l very tiny bit of damage there to Katarina. <laughs> but, oh, hang on. They, um... Yeah, they only have one ward out. And one over here, no. That's not even a ward. So the uh, red team has several wards out, but yeah, nobody has an oracles on the enemy team. At least not that I can see. No. So they are going to go for Baron here, and yeah, the blue team trying to wait for them because they know they're going to come for this, but Darius is actually going to die here instantly and that may be the opportunity they needed because now they're going to just wipe the floor with them because without Darius nobody is going to stop Vayne here as you might notice that is indeed true so <laughs> Vayne getting uh, two double kills I believe or well no I don't know, maybe someone else picked up a kill. And a very easy Baron. So yeah, only uh, Ash still left. And yeah, this is exactly what you need to do. You need to... It's, it's the same every game, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed yet. There's this one guy doing very well. He's the problem for your team. Uh, that he's the reason why you're not... Why you, you haven't won already. And just pick that guy off in the team fights. It's not necessarily the guy with the most kills, by the way. If um, if you're having trouble because I don't know uh, someone is blocking you all the time or CCing you all the time, you might want to pick off that guy first. And yeah, in this case, it was kind of obvious that it was Darius. So they picked up Darius straight away in this uh, in this fight because Darius was just completely in the wrong place, uh, undefended and in the middle of the enemy team. And yeah, wow, nice tumble there, dodging the arrow. And are they going to manage to do anything? Come on, Vein, go Vein, 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 come on! Oh, Galio disconnected. Yeah. He didn't actually disconnect, he just wasn't paying attention. Come on! Oh! That was so close! <sighs> and she finally has the Guardian Angel. If she had that there, she would have gotten uh, a pentakill because the reduced damage from that, or the damage reduction from that, it's just awesome. Yeah, she decides to bl buy a black cleaver first. You shouldn't do that. After these three items, the Infinity Edge, the Phantom Dancer, and the Bloodthirster, you should go for that Guardian Angel. And if you have gold left afterwards, you can go for the black cleaver. Not the other way around. You have plenty of damage. There's no reason to mess it up by uh, by doing this. So, by by not buying that Guardian Angel. So she has 350 AD currently, and this guy has 342, so that's kind of the same. Well, they have kind of the same items, except this guy doesn't have the uh, Black Cleaver, he has a Riggle's Lantern, so it's kind of surprising that that is the same amount of damage. <laughs> Well, it isn't the same amount of damage, and certainly not the same amount of total damage because of the attack speed. But, yeah, you get the point. It's kind of surprising that he has 350 damage as well. Um, the attack speed, however, will be different. It's 1.5 over here, and on 
vein, oh, sorry, vein, it is um, 1.9, so yeah, that's a big difference. 1.9 attacks per second or 1.5 attacks per second. But it is still pretty similar, the amount of damage they do. Plus, yeah, this guy can stay alive forever. And Vayne really cannot. So, almost a pentakill. That was a shame. But yeah, she has a Guardian Angel now. And once again, they need to pick off this Darius first. And if they pick up Darius first, then it's all done. It's all good. Of course, th he is not the one that does the most damage because he has. Uh, oh, he still has 320 damage. Okay, but he has uh, 0 0.8 attacks per second. You can see how that's a little bit different from the 1.5 that uh, Trindamir is doing. But yeah, still he is the big problem. Um, yeah, Trindamir is the second big problem, but Trindamir is just really hard to take down, and you should try to catch him on his own. Try to make sure that you uh, you pull him into your team as Blitzcrank or something like that, and make sure that the enemy team can't do damage. Wow, Ash melting to a three shot there. That's oh come on, I can't see anything. So yeah, Darius picking off one kill and a double kill for Vayne here. And yeah, all in all they just wiped out the entire enemy team. Oh, there goes the last guy. He had his Guardian Angel still up. Hang on, I want to see that again. So first of all, the Ash just melts. Then the Galio ult comes out. And uh, yeah, two of the Banshee's fails get triggered. And yeah, Vayne especially going to ult afterwards and going to pick up well or do quite a bit of damage and then once this guy goes down she goes to the minions and she knows that the rest of her team has that but she still picks up the kill so a, du a double double kill there I think no it's just one double kill hang on yeah maybe she got four kills out of that. Anyway, yeah, all in all, the Gregor's jungle definitely good. And he definitely got to do a whole lot with his uh, tank items. Because they focused him quite a bit until that last team fight where he didn't get focused at all. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But, yeah, very well played. And, um, yeah, haven't seen that in a while. I think he, it is a pretty good jungler of course you don't want to do this against a real counter jungler like Shivana but still it works so anyway hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time GG